What is going on guys today? We are looking at team of the season, Skriniar. He is the 89 rated centre back from obviously, don't want to get this right, Slovakia. I thought it was Slovakia, not Slovenia. But he is obviously a 89 rated centre back. He has come from an 85. No informs, no nothing this year. He has just managed to claw his way in. And we are kind of missing a few people. I'm going to be expecting a flashback Chiellini of some sort later on in the week. Same as like a moments uh, Dybala potentially as we go forward with this but we will speculate that um, later on we obviously on the first day if we are going to be using Skriniar we're going to be having to use a shadow obviously no traits because he only has 76 pace and yes that's not awful but I mean a lot of the center backs now we've just come off a LaCroix Le or LaCroix I can't know how you pronounce it but he has 90 pace on the base that kind of says it all right there absolutely incredible stuff from him um, but he looks okay. He'll be solid. Like, he'll be a cracking defender. But in terms of kind of pace and maybe the agility balance side of stuff, I really think he's going to struggle. So, it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to jump in. Might only be a short one for him because I feel like how this one's going to go down. He's going to be pretty average in comparison to team of the seasons. But we'll give him the fair shot and see what he can do. Skriniar has been taken the other side. Ah, he's, he's just not going to let it. Cannavaro's going to come in. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Skriniar coming over. Where's he going to go? It's a great tackle. Like I say, with Skriniar, he's going to be uh, kind of like one of... One of two things, he's going to be such a solid uh, sort of player in terms of what he can do in terms of defending. He's going to be brilliant. He's going to be able to tackle. He's got the physicality. He's got the size. The main thing that's going to be the issue is the balance. He's going to be the pace. That's what's really going to let this card down. And in a game where we're finding more and more 90 plus center backs with just stupid amounts of pace, stupid amounts of dribbling, passing, the whole nine. We're looking at kind of like all round center backs, which... Back in the day, you look at the likes of John Terry, you look at the likes of someone like a Puyo, they were never, they're not, they're not, they were slow because I don't, I don't think they really was like that slow. It's kind of older age they are in comparison to obviously newer players. But I think now they're kind of centre backs are asking for almost to do everything. They're not asking just to do the defending anymore. They're asking to do the passing, the dribbling, kind of, and, and this is mainly FIFA as well. This is not necessarily always real life like we know that that's just not how it works but in terms of FIFA we are looking for that all-round centre-back to be able to to not even necessarily dribble it around everybody but to be able to get out of tight spaces it's nice to have a centre-back that can do that I'm gonna step up with him again this is the problem you can see just how slow he is on that and that that's literally down to him obviously this guy's got a pretty decent kind of uh, counter attack but in terms of positioning even if you get some defenders where you can kind of not necessarily pull them out all the time but you can pull them slightly out of position and they pretty much elasticate themselves back into that role very very quickly whereas Skriniar seems to be taking his time just takes a little bit of getting used to with him Skriniar versus Ronaldo let's go for the tackle like I say, solid defending, but in terms of pace, it's just not unfortunately there. Skriniar out. Lovely boot up. Skriniar with a tackle. Doesn't get the seconds, though. Skriniar. Oh, been, oh no. I was going to say, he's been absolutely led off by Cannavaro, who then puts him straight back into the thick of things. But Skriniar deals with it. Skriniar containing Ronaldo as much as he can until he makes the wrong move. And it's a lovely pass out from him as well, to be fair to him. It's, it's made this counter. Arwen Lozano has been absolutely chopped right now. Skriniar. Or Skriniar. Nah, it's completely gone away from it. Skriniar, that's all of yours. Back to the keeper. Or maybe not. He's going to expect it panicking like no other and literally there's no danger oh wow has he kept that in as well that is a beautiful play that is what you call go to the whistle so going into the overall four Skriniar then he is he's, he's okay he's not necessarily the greatest center back in the world which we kind of expected from him but again it's team of the season I, I'd kind of expect a little bit better I, I really would like I know that necessarily like realistically had what 69 pace on his base from his gold just upgrade it just go up to 85 why not i don't see the point in making a 76 pace center back 
over every single player that we've got. If we literally have a look at the centre backs that we've got so far, let's just go by pace so we can see if we can we do the position as well, uh, the version. Where's team of the season? Excellent. So literally there is four centre backs who have not got above 80 pace. One of them is Hummels, which is fair enough. It's practically the same as Skrinja. And then two of them are obviously from the Saudi league. Everybody else has got above 80. I just don't understand why they wouldn't give him at least 80. Like the same with Hummels. Why not? Just give him it. He may even not feel like he's got 80, but at least he's got it on the value. And it's kind of a almost like a placebo effect. You see it and you think he's good or you think he's better than what he is. With the shadow, obviously, he does have 86, which isn't awful. Obviously, you can still get away with that. I just think there's so many better options. I feel like definitely fodder at the very minimum right now and potentially could go up even more because we haven't had many SBCs, so the market technically is quite low for him. Maybe in lightning rounds tomorrow if we don't get anything massive, it's a potential. It's always a potential. But in terms of his defensive ability, he is stunning. Like, he genuinely is stunning. You can't argue with that. The same with, with Hummels. When you've got someone who's not necessarily fast, normally it means his physicality and his defensive uh, ability is class. He's got great composure, great reactions. Agility balance is absolutely shot. And realistically, he is kind of just a club filler. That That is all he's going to be. Maybe someone for Inter Milan for the Serie A best or whatever you want to call it because you do need 11 different clubs overall wise i'm going to give him a solid 8.2 let me know down below if you've got him and if you're going to use him or is he just fodder for you make sure you like and subscribe though and i'll see you all for the next one peace